Thank you for joining me on the Endless Mountain Network and my name is Derek and it is the 18th of March 2009 and I want to talk a little bit about the speed the Mayan calendar is talking about how fast things are moving quicker and quicker but I really want to uh, know if you understand what it is that I'm talking about I'm going to explain a little bit more so if you're not too sure please watch the rest of this video and then explain any other ways maybe I can explain things better on any facet of the Mayan calendar because I am going to be putting up a web page in the next uh, week or two but I want to put some really good videos up for it I want to explain things as well as I can for the launch of that web page so that's why any feedback that I can get would be very much the appreciated as I do this. So anyway, I'm going to talk about the speed in this video. If it's any other facet of uh, the Mayan calendar, whether it's creation, whether it's the positive negative cycle or whatever, let me know. And uh, But anyway, let's talk about how things are moving a lot faster. That's what I want to mention. Uh, so when I say stuff, for example, the amount of creation that's going to happen from now until the next two and a half years is about as equal as the last nine and a half years was. Do you understand where I'm coming from when I say I have a graph? I'll put the graph up right now. This graph shows what two cycles of the Mayan calendar is all about and how during these two cycles things always go by a lot faster. You can look ahead and say, oh wow, things are getting really fast, but you know, always be ready for it, I think. So that's really what I want to talk about. There's also a link, or not a link, but yeah, there's a link in the more info for this. And what this is, it's uh, if you go to the one minute mark of this video where they start with white dwarfs, this is the closest thing that I can have which explains how fast everything really moves. Why things go faster and faster and faster. This would explain the energy of which is allocated. So let's just say, whatever the cre however the creation of this planet works, that the creator gets 8,000 units of uh, creation and every time he runs out he gets 8,000 more. So he doesn't get 8,000 every day, every hour or whatever, no. Because he gets, every time he gets 8,000 he would use it in less amount of time. So let's put it this way, the 8,000 that he would use on December the 16th, 2001, let's just say that took a day and a half, 36 hours. That would mean that if it took 36 hours for him to use that then, today it would take 12.3 hours. It would take 8 hours on July the 11th, 2010. 4 hours on October the 11th, or October the 1st, 2011. 2 hours on May the 12th, 2012. 1 hour on September the 1st, 2012. That same 8,000 would be 30 minutes on October the 27th, 12. 10 minutes on December the 3rd, 5 minutes on December the 12th, 2 minutes on December the 18th, and 1 minute on December the 21st, which means it goes to seconds and so on. So that is where I'm referring to as far as creation. Do you have any idea what I mean by that? Is there anything you want cleared up about that? Let me know because I want to make a good compilation of videos for the launch of the uh, Mayan calendar. I'm going to be putting some videos on there, but none of the videos that are on here will be on there, meaning I haven't made them yet. So they'll be on YouTube also. But I want to make videos for it and explain things a little better. So if there's any way you can uh, maybe help me in a way I can explain it more, any more information where you're confused on anything, please, this is the chance to let me know. This way I can uh, advance more into uh, creating this page in which I think can help people understand the shift in consciousness and what it is all about. Thank you for watching. Peace and light. Feel the love, accept the love, share the love, and have yourself a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.